Uh, about medical technologies for space, could you discuss the technological developments in genomics, gene therapy, microbiomics, as you discussed, stem cells, regenerative medicine, you mentioned artificial replacement of tissues, organs, body networks, medical robotics. Uh, can you just uh, discuss a little bit about that one? Well, I discussed a couple of the other ones already. Let me uh, mention now a little bit uh, more about medical robotics, but also exoskeletons. So there's a lot of development, not only to, let's say, have a person recover from a, part a particular problem. Let's say that you had a problem with a leg and it's taking some time to recover, or it may be a neurological problem that is affecting already your, your motion, your locomotion. Well, could you use some robotic support to restore normal function or an exoskeleton, exo, a, a leg, an artificial leg added to your own leg, and I'm talking about the exoskeleton that could actually replace your normal function or go in the direction of even augmenting human performance. And so there are developments right now in robotics and exoskeleton technology that why do you stop at normal function, for example, to carry weights, to uh, do certain activities when you could probably enhance the capability of a human through some of those new technologies? Uh, there are some developments, for example, right now in several laboratories with uh, the next generation of uh, smart contact uh, lenses that, well, yep, initially restore uh, visual acuity, but could you end up using some of those to allow people to see in infrared, to see in ultraviolet, to create now a way of creating uh, information through the contact lens instead of having an external display. Now the contact lens is essentially your display to provide information. Uh, what about other smart devices so, such as smart shirts? And there are many of those examples. In fact, I have one of those where you can actually be monitoring cardiac function. You can be monitoring uh, pulmonary function, temperature, uh, all kinds of different things because now you have sensors that could be added to smart uh, fabric materials. And uh, that gives you flexibility that we haven't had until now. So once again, there are many other applications that uh, we can not only relate to the medical aspect, but also to the performance aspect of a person, augment capabilities, and expand uh, human functions.